everyone, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in the UK and every year I like to do a little fundraiser for breast cancer because it's uh, quite prevalent in my family. My mum's had it twice and my grandma's had it as well. They're both okay but it's always something that I've known about and so I really enjoy fundraising for it. Usually I do it through work um, but this year I'm not working because of coronavirus and so I thought I'll just do it for myself. My original idea was to do a box full of New Zealand treats that are gluten free of course, so squiggles, mellow puffs, lolly cake and Belgian biscuits. Um, and I was gonna make, you know, seven or eight, maybe max 10 boxes and sell them for 10 pounds each, which all the proceeds would go to charity. And then I put it on the Kiwis in London page, which is a Facebook page full of New Zealanders that live in London. And the idea of being able to have New Zealand treats again sort of spoke to a lot of people. And I got so many requests, so it went from making 10 boxes to making 40 boxes and therefore about 500 individual biscuits. And I recorded that process for you guys to watch. In the end, I'll let you know how much we raised. And because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I will be putting a few links in the bio of resources, of how to check your own breasts, um, how you can get involved, how you can do your own breast cancer fundraiser. Um, yeah, I'll do, put that in the link below. But without further ado, here is one person making a bunch of cookies. So just to outline the plan, today I'm going to make as much cookie dough as I can and roll it out and cut out as many shapes of the cookies as I can. So then I have a fair idea of how many biscuits I'll have and therefore how many boxes I can make. So I have a feeling this is going to take me around four to five hours, so I won't make you watch all of that. <laughs> kg's worth of cooking dough. Uh, so I've got the squiggles, the mellow puff faces, and the doughs for the Belgian biscuits. So I'm gonna roll these out now. I'm already quite tired. I'll be honest. Fifty biscuits right there. <laughs> Good morning, it's day two on me baking a lot of biscuits. Uh, today is the day where I put the boxes up for grabs um, and I'm stressing out because so many people messaged me about it and I just don't think there's gonna be enough for everyone so I'm um, currently making more. I'm currently making more biscuits. I'm gonna go to the shop again later and <laughs> get some more ingredients so um, I can try and make as much as humanly possible. It took only 1 minute and 30 seconds for all 35 boxes to go. Um, 
and that's amazing and people are donating and we're raising so much money and it's so cool and I'm just being struck by the realization that I need to make over 400 biscuits for people and they all have to be good. Now I'm moving on to the lolly cake. Uh, lolly cake keeps really well in the fridge so I thought it'd be an easy one to prepare early. Um, I had to buy about two shops worth of all of their gluten-free digestive biscuits. Usually with the lily cake you make it with malt biscuits, um, obviously malt contains gluten and I'm yet to find a good enough substitute for the malty flavour. But I've used these biscuits so many times to make lily cake and my New Zealand friends have all said it tastes exactly the same so we're just going to go with gluten-free digestives today. Um, but yeah, now I've got to crush all of these. boxes and finish off the last of the dough so nothing very exciting but um today I'm gonna be baking everything so big day so they're made with like spices cinnamon ginger and mixed spice so my kitchen smells amazing box there are more than 400 biscuits I kind of thought it would look like more but oh well all ready for tomorrow big day today day five icing the biscuits making them up making the marshmallow buttercream chocolate dipping squiggling icing all that Realise I might run into the problem of not having enough fridge space to chill all of um, the chocolate coated biscuits, but we'll get there when we get there. Yesterday at midnight, I made all of the honeycomb because I realised I needed to sit overnight. Um, we call this hokey pokey in New Zealand, but I think it goes by honeycomb here. Anyway, this is the stuff that will go into the squiggles or crushed up to give it the little bumps. shelf for the fridge so that I have enough room to chill all of the mellow puffs and squiggles. Oh. Oh. A little bit more trimming. It's 
time for squiggles. Oh, sorry that this video has a lot of montages. Um, it's taking quite a while, uh, and I don't think anyone would want to watch 40 hours worth of faking. If you do, let me know. Isn't even half of them. Thanks for your input. Thank you for your input. Don't you dare jump up. No. Oh, I'm so tired. Let's squiggle. Like in. This is what the inside of the squiggle looks like. It's got a like, layer of buttercream, some hokey pokey, chocolate. Oops, keep dropping it. Mmm. Yep. Happy with that? Mm hmm. It's like a soft spiced biscuit with like icing and jelly crystals on top and jam in the middle. Biscuits are disgusting. <laughs> Nips. It's absolutely pissing down. Get an umbrella on my next leg of the journey, I think. <laughs> London now, going northwest. Um, very lovely area, this Hammersmith. Very fancy. Just got a phone call from my work, which I'm supposed to be starting tomorrow. Um, and it's the same company that made me redundant in May, and they've asked me to come back and into a different role, which was very exciting. And I all plan to start tomorrow. So they called me, and they were just like, so your visa situation is confusing um, and you might not be able to start. It's my understanding that I was able to work and I explained the situation and thought they were all good with it. Signed the contract and everything. Meant to start tomorrow and they've just said, oh, maybe not. So, a bit bummed about that, but maybe I can do some more baking. Whoa, what? <sighs> maybe it's a sign. Maybe I should just bake first my life really want to try out a custard square recipe so they'll keep me busy I'm sure but yeah if anyone else is going through visa applications during this pandemic it sucks right I feel you whatever happens happens um, yeah anyway I guess I'll continue my deliveries delivering so far has been quite fun it was just really nice to very briefly meet people while I handed over the treats and I really hope I really hope everyone's enjoying them because that would suck if I like made this whole video and they're actually crap <laughs> and you also may have noticed I've had an outfit change so I got so soaked on the first run it's loud I'm gonna stop actually okay I'm on my third to last delivery it's 4 p.m. I'm in M13, somewhere near Bounds Green, and things are taking a turn for the worst. 
lost my bloody umbrella. <laughs> I think I left it on the tube. <laughs> oh, it's quite heartbreaking when you do that. It's like you've lost, like you, like the umbrella will be sad because the umbrella said that I left it. Got on the wrong bloody bus. <laughs> Just did my final delivery early. Delivery early. I'm so tired. And this is all that's left the red jet pile. Check out the sprinkles on that one. They all moved to the side. There's lolly cake, has no lollies, and all of this, these squiggles have been desquiggled. <laughs> Good effort though. And there we have it. Um, the final amount of money we raised for breast cancer now is. Drum roll. 600 pounds from 40 boxes. So I'm so pleased with that. My original goal was 100 pounds. So I am absolutely blown away with the support and everyone getting behind it. And I just wanna thank everyone that did get involved. Um, I really hope you enjoyed my biscuits. <laughs> All of the recipes are on my website. I'll link it down below if you'd like to try making them yourself. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check your boobies and have a great night. It wouldn't be a normal day if we didn't finish it with walking the cat. Can you look both ways, please? Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Chat for cars. <laughs>